Good morning, friends. Welcome to Sewing Talk Tuesday. My name is Anissa, and I am the crafty author. Welcome to my craft room. So today, what I want to talk about is some exciting things. So um, as you know, and I've already posted some pictures in my group, um, so if you're not in my private Facebook group, make sure you send me a request if you're on Facebook so you can be a part of that too. Um, but I've been working on a disappearing nine patch quilt, which you're all probably sick of hearing about uh, for the last couple of months. Um, I have finally gone ahead and quilted this quilt and I love the way that it turned out. It is not perfect like my... My quilting is, is definitely not perfect, but the three foot rule applies to this. So that what the three foot rule is, is if you stand three feet back and you can't see all the imperfections in your quilt, it doesn't exist. Now, some people will probably sit there and expect, inspect all of the quilting and hey, I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. So <laughs> if you're gonna do that, then that's going to be on you. So, and I've said that many times before. Um, so I'm going to show you, I decided to, I decided to take a walk on the wild side. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I went ahead and instead of doing the stippling stitch, which I'm very comfortable with, I decided I would do the C's, like the little swirls, which is what I wanted to do originally. And so I sat down and played with a practice sandwich yesterday and I thought, you know what, I can totally do this. And so I did. Um, this quilt is very large, uh, probably about double size. It'll fit a double size bed. Um, so I should know better than to quilt an entire quilt in one day. So I basically worked on this from sun up to sundown. I think I finished quilting it at nine o'clock last night. And I was very sore. I'm still very sore today. My arms really, really hurt. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, but I'm glad it's done because this quilt has been a pain in my rear end. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you some of it right now. I've got the quilt and you can see the quilting here that I went ahead and did on here. And then I just did some straight line quilting here and on the border. Um, it turned out really neat when the quilt is all spread out, which I'll take pictures of and show to you. Um, it just looks really beautiful. My husband never says anything about my quilting. And last night when I went upstairs and showed it to him, he was like, wow, what quilting pattern did you use? Because that looks really cool. So I knew it was a winner. So yay. Um, I have a lot of mistakes on here, like I said. Um, my thread broke a couple of times, which threw it off. So that's a pretty normal thing that happens. Um, I crossed over in some of the lines. You know, that happens too. Nobody is perfect. But I think overall, really, I'm very proud of myself for doing this and for stepping outside of the box and trying something new. You know, it's a unique piece. It's an artistic piece of you know, it's my art. So, um, not everything needs to be completely perfect. You can see in spots where I kind of quilted it to death and I had a really tough time with matching the, um, thread to be honest. So I ended up going with a color that had basically all the colors within the quilt, but I didn't realize how much white I had in here. And of course, every time I made a mistake, it showed up in the white pieces, right? Not the colored pieces. So that's okay. I'm going to stop beating myself up about this now. Um, I have a video of myself um, free motion quilting this. And that one will be posted on Thursday. So make sure you watch that in case you're interested in learning how to do it. And uh, remember, I'm a beginner when it came to this one, to this pattern. So it's not going to be perfect. All right, the next thing, the most exciting thing that I'm really excited to tell you about 
is I finally got something that I've been wanting for a while, a really long time, for like years and years and years. And um, I've told you that I'm going to be saving up for it and whatnot. Well, I got a bonus at work. Yay, bonus, right? And so I was finally able to buy my AccuQuilt Go Big Cutter. Now, this is not a paid endorsement, but I'm going to tell you right now, I love this thing. It is so awesome. And so this is the AccuQuilt Go Big Cutter that I'm going to show you. So here she is. And I bet you I'm going to have to, nope, it's going to fold straight out, which is what I wanted to show you here. Oh, don't mind me over here tossing stuff around. So this is what it looks like. And you put your mats through it this way, and it automatically cuts all of your fabric for you, which I love, I love, I love. And so this weekend... I spent a lot of time cutting up scraps. I did a lot of scrap busting. And I was able to cut these rectangles. Uh, they are three by five and a half inch rectangles. And I did two and a half inch squares. And I even wrote some little labels from my little bowls, which I never do. Um, but you can see all perfectly cut and ready for a quilt. Cut some triangles, um, half square triangles and some flying geese as well. But I don't have those right now, but these are the half square triangles. All different fabrics in those little bags that I showed you a while back of scraps. Oh, there's more down there. Um, I have square, five inch squares. So if I wanna make my own, uh, charm packs I can do that but I just wanted to show you no, I got all my labels messed up um, I just wanted to show you that that's what I was working on this weekend so I really did a lot of stuff in the craft room and cleaned it up a little bit again because I seem to make such a huge mess when I am working in here <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate how the Go Big works, not not right now, but <clears throat> um, I will be doing a video on that because we need to cut the binding for the quilt. And so I would figured that would be a really good time to show you how this works. And it is awesome. I love it. I'm so glad that I was able to purchase it. Probably one of the best purchases I've ever made for myself saves me so much time in cutting. Like you can cut an entire quilt in five minutes. How cool is that, right? So this is the die that I'm gonna be using. This is a three inch die. Um, and when it's finished, it'll be two and a half inches. So that'll be good for binding. So I was pretty happy with that. And of course, Remember the binding baby? Remember her? Yeah. So I'll be using this for the very first time too for the binding of this quilt. So I'm excited to show you guys how all of this is going to work because I have no idea. I've never done it. I have no idea how this is going to work. So it could be a win-win or it could be an epic fail. I have no idea, but I am super excited about it. So that is what I have for today. I thank you for joining me. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description. If you would like to purchase items that you have seen me use here, the links are also down in the description box. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that little bell. You'll get notified every time I post a new video. And keep on crafting. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.